Hello everyone and welcome to the NNL Pro Tournament. The path to pro begins here. I'm Alex Cunningham alongside William Marchese. Will, we made it to the semifinals. I am so excited right now. We had a fantastic first round and now we get to see the victors of those go head to head as we will hopefully see improved gauntlets from top tier competitors. Well, this matchup will have Maddie Howard and Addie Herman. You know the drill. Two-minute gauntlet. It's up to you to decide who had the better gauntlet. Not a popularity contest, but I think we drilled that home in the first round. So let's meet our two fantastic athletes and see how they got here. Since her first appearance in the Pro Tournament, Addie Herman's Season 6 has somehow gotten even better. She's now 78 points clear of second place in the elite female standings. She's won six straight regular season competitions, matching her season long, and has dropped only one point in her last 11 competitions. In the first round, Addie ousted defending world champion Tiana Weberly as she wowed us with a number of strong aerial moves, including flywheels, wingdings, and a big skyhook jump. Maddie Howard hasn't competed this season in order to grow her family, but she's coming off a career year, capping off her Season 5 by finishing second in both the 2020 World Championship and the Strongest Ninja competition. She'll be one to watch for in 2022 as she looks to become the first mom as an elite world champion. Her first round gauntlet had both variety and difficulty, with obstacles like the Iron Maiden, Cliffhanger, and Salmon Ladder, knocking off fellow Aerial Barrel Conqueror, Allie Graff. Once again, we'd like to remind you, Maddie submitted these gauntlets months in advance as she prepared for her pregnancy. But down to business, Maddie and Addie wowed us with two excellent gauntlets in the first round. I completely agree with you. I thoroughly enjoyed watching them the first round. And we get to see what they have in store for us for the semifinals. Addie, in theory, has a little bit of an advantage because Maddie had to film all of her runs ahead of time. Addie has the benefit of hearing criticism from our two panelists, so perhaps she'll be able to incorporate some of their comments into her semifinal run. And moreover, there was a wide variety in both of those runs. They had the laches, but they also had the really tough grips. Yes, they did. And with any hope, we'll be seeing more of that variety in this round. Well, let's not waste any time. Addie Herman, you're up first. Hi, I'm Addie Herman, and this is round two of the Pro Tournament. Addie kicking us off, heading back to Vitality, and this is new. Wow, Vitality pulling out all the stops for Addie with a hang climb, and now onto some lobster claws. All right, now onto that bar. Oh, this is a diagonal salmon ladder. Is she going to do this angle ladder? Yes, she is oh. making the jump, making it back ah, up as ah. well. Whoa. Busting out the variety here. This has been a great run just in the beginning. And now on to some flywheels, perhaps that wing nut next. Yep. And where could you possibly go from here? I don't know, but she's building up a big swing to the wing it's ding. It's a wing ding. Yes. Once yes. again. Got to love it. You, you love your pipe slider. I love my wing ding. And now ah. she's onto this ring. Perhaps another oh, skyhook. She had a big one in her first it. round. Yeah. And it's a wow. sideways skyhook. A 90 degree turn. Never easy to do, but she pulled it off. And I like and this clipped release on the rope. Where could she oh. be headed? Oh, I sure hope we see some a sliding bar action. Oh, nah, nah. We got been teased. We have sliding Look. cane action, though. That's You know what? I'll, I'll take it. I'll take it. We're gonna get a cane move here. No, we're not, uh, unfortunately. Okay, that's, okay. that's fine. That's fine. That's still, fine. still, still difficult. Oh no, this is a very, very tough gauntlet, and she still Absolutely. has some time to play with. Uh, going to some arm ring action. Some. Let's see how quickly she can get through this line. Oh no, oh, she's not even doing that. I thought she was struggling, but instead she was just changing her momentum. It's hard to see what she was grabbing onto there. Oh, and you know what I see, Will? Oh, I, I, I see, see a pipe it, but slider. she's. She keeps missing it. Come on. Grab Come it. Come on, Addie. Please. There you go. She had there, to use please. that truss. She's trying for a tough reach. Oh, I want to see this. Please, please give us a, a prop. Ah. Oh. Okay, I you know what? I'll take it. But instead, she looks like she's headed to that ring. And she is. Oh, no. Oh, no. Addie's grip just giving way at the death. But, Will, 
we got both of the obstacles we wanted, so all that, in all, a pretty great gauntlet. That that we did, but seeing how her run ended, she probably should have just dismounted on that pipe slider instead of going for the ring. It probably would have been a, a slightly better ending to that run. And there weren't any, like, super tough grips. I mean, there were some difficult things to hold on to. But really, the difficulty came from the Lachets and especially that angle ladder at the beginning. Yes, yes. Uh, Like you said, especially that angle ladder. I will say, though, that this is the unfortunate disadvantage of having multiple people competing in the same gym. Because I've seen so many people in Vitality do that ring toss that it's you know, even though she didn't do it for very long, it's just kind of like, oh, these this again? Yeah, I see what you mean. I wish maybe she would have gone for the doorknobs. That would have been a little bit more difficult of a grab. Although that would have made it a little bit more difficult to go into the pipe slider. and Perhaps that was her plan that she thought she wouldn't have very much time. Honestly, though, she was having a little difficulty transferring to the pipe slider. I would say that's probably the weakest part of that whole run. She had to try multiple times to make that transition, and because of the camera angle, it was a little tough to see exactly what was going on, but that was a little weird. Well, that's enough about Addie. Maddie, I mean, you didn't know what to do because this was recorded months in advance, but she says she likes this gauntlet, so we hope you like it too. Let's take a look. Maddie back out in Utah. And we have a lot of stuff hanging up. If she uses all of this, it is going to be an epic gauntlet and already starting Ooh. with some laches. She's got a smorgasbord of possibilities here. And that's a UFO. Oh, my. Great start. Those UFOs are not easy. I have seen so many people fall on them in the past. Not at all. And that jump wasn't easy either. And do a Ooh. sideways board. And wow. now back to the ring. This alone is incredibly difficult to another sideways wow. board whoa variety is the perfect word to describe the beginning of this run and possibly difficulty as well now yes. we are into the hold section these bungees are going to be super taxing on her forearms and it's important to note when you're dealing with bungees that you're moving all around you're you're bouncing it, it's you know your bounce can be very unpredictable Ooh, careful there Oh, good save. Th and these are a lot thicker and probably harder to grab than usual cannonballs. Yeah, those look like uh, I can't tell if they're baseballs or softballs, but she... those are softballs, my friend. Yeah, those are bigger. Not a softball just... of an obstacle. That's for sure. And neither is this rumbling yeah, exactly. dice. This is a wow. big looking rumbling dice. Oof, she's definitely rolling the dice with this decision, but Aha. it's paying off so far. Definitely the right strategy yep. down just over 30 seconds left. Yes, she did not crap out on this obstacle. Let's see where she goes. She's chalking up or at actually least... just wiping off the hands. She decided not to use chalk, which is. Interesting yeah, you know, thing. you're right. I'm so used to people putting chalk on their legs when they do that move. Now, some monkey bars. You got to wonder if that lactic acid is starting to go and where is she going to go from here with only a couple seconds left? Uh, I'm going to guess this is the end. She's going to dismount and... Oh, look at that! <laughs> I'm just going to say it, Will. Maddie did it again. What a gauntlet. Indeed. 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 That was some impressive stuff for Maddie. I am actually just impressed that she was able to come up with two different gauntlets so far without any sort of real uh, foresight into her opponents and what they're doing. You know, it's one thing to be able to come up with one gauntlet and have it look impressive, but because of her situation, she had to do three different gauntlets all in a row, relatively in a row. And she, so far she's two, she's two for two. I, I can't complain. I was actually thinking at the beginning that with the sideways to the ring, to the other sideways, that would be an excellent obstacle by itself, honestly kind of making me jealous that I didn't think of it. And then she still did another minute and a half of really tough grips. And on top of that, 
uh, with that beginning, just doing a UFO at any point is so difficult. I have, I remember when the first, when the UFO first started to make prominence in ninja courses, so many people fail that thing. And even to this day, years later, so many people fail that thing because it's only held up by one point. So it can just tilt in any which direction. You have to grab that thing perfectly. And she nailed it. She nailed that UFO. And honestly, like that ending, just being able to lift your feet to your hands like that, you know, it's a nice little touch and I appreciate it. <laughs> yeah, we talk all the time about, you know, using up all of your two minutes. I think we mentioned during RJ's run, man, if he would have just done some pull-ups at the end, that's what Maddie did. So even without us knowing, she she listened to us. Well, hopefully you guys will listen to our two expert panelists, or maybe not, but they would like to give their thoughts on these two excellent gauntlets. Will, how about we send it over to Lucio Batista and Henry Ferrarin? All right, gentlemen, welcome back. We get to discuss the semifinals now, and I'm super excited about this one. All right, uh, Lucio, we're going to start with you. We're going to start with a discussion about Addy's run. So uh, one of the things that we had talked about, Alex and I, is the difficulty of originality when multiple people appear in the same gym. Addy uh, is competing from Vitality, and we've already seen uh, quite a few runs in that gym. Uh, do you think she did a good job differentiating herself from other runs that were being held in vitality great question well i i really do feel like she was differentiating herself in her obstacles and her layout of her grip i would like to mention that she did listen to some of our points from the last time and chose to go with a good start with a lot more static grip since she, her last video was a lot more dynamic so i would like to give her props for integrating that static grip as well as the dynamic again uh, very good. Very good. And um, Henry, uh, one of the things that uh, we noticed with with Addy was her finale. Uh, she had a little bit of difficulty transferring to the pipe slider. And then instead of doing a pipe slider dismount, she kind of tried transferring to a ring and then slipped up. Should she have maybe called an audible and gone for a dismount? And, and how much did that slip at the very end hurt her run? I, I totally understand that. And uh, yes, it wasn't, it wasn't an ideal ending. It was not an ideal ending. But um, we have to keep in mind how pumped these athletes are at the end of this grip call. They're, they're doing max effort moves um, for, what is it? It's two minutes straight, right? Yes. Um, and, and a lot of, Addy started with the, with the uh, campus rock climb into the giant move from the wing nut to the uh, wing ding. Um, and then the, the, uh, ring, uh, so, so many like big technical moves and you're pumped, you're super pumped. So it wasn't ideal. Does it take away? Um, is it a perfect run? No, there is no perfect run, but I don't think it's going to hurt her that much to be perfectly honest. Okay. All right. Uh, we're going to stick with Henry for this one. Uh, moving on to, uh, Maddie's run. So, uh, as we've discussed, uh, previously, um, she had, had had to record all three of her runs at the same time back to back. Would you say that uh, knowing that she would not be able to have any feedback, do you think she did a good enough job with her second course uh, improving herself uh, than the first run? Absolutely. Um, I just watching the, the two videos, um, I think Maddie's second video um, she looks a lot stronger. There's nice, diverse obstacles. I love seeing the bungees. I love the, the hand-eye coordination move, grabbing UF, catching UFOs. Um, and again, she went max effort. She looked super, super pumped at the end. But um, to answer your question, yes, I think I think um, I I was not able to tell. Like I, if I didn't know that um, beforehand, um, I I think I would say that she that her grip gauntlet improved from the first one to the second one. All right. And uh, Lucio, going on uh, to you, uh, 
Uh, one of the things that uh, Maddie did at the end of her run was that before she dismounted, because she had a little bit of extra time, she essentially did a, a toe touch where she brought her feet to her hands and you know put a little bit of extra pizzazz at the end of her run. Uh, do you think moves like that can help improve the perceived quality of your gauntlet to the audience? I mean, personally, I feel like it, it's what's good about is it it shows she could still hang there even to just get that last little bit of effort in at the end there to make sure she still hits the time limit. But other than that, I wouldn't really say like, it's going to sway me one way or the other. If you just do a toe touch at the end of your video, I mean, I'm really looking at the meat and potatoes of the video. Um, but it's still impressive to still hang there and finish out the time limit as opposed to just dropping early and being like, Oh, I, I didn't have enough content. So, I mean, but yeah, I don't think it's really, um, swaying myself or any viewer. Maybe she did a one arm pull up. Yeah. <laughs> then <think> yes. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, uh, now it's time for the million dollar question. Uh, we're going to start with Lucio this time around. Uh, do you choose Maddie or Addy? Well, well, this one's actually very close. In all honesty, I really feel like Maddie's second video was very impressive. And even though, like Henry said, we didn't, you couldn't tell that, it, like, as if we gave feedback or something, she just had a really impressive second video. Um, although I'm still going to have to say my pick lies with Addie on this one. Just the amount of um, differentiation in her grips between static and dynamic and just overall, I, I just have the edging has to go to Addie on this one. All right. Uh, thank you for that. And Henry, same question to you. Who you pick? First off, let me state that this is the closest women's matchup thus far. I mean, Maddie came out looking super strong. Um, she went, like, like I said before, the UFO disc catch. Love seeing all the bungees, a lot of dynamic moves um, in, in an awesome gym with, uh, with a lot of different, different types of movement. And, and, and again, and then Addie... Um, everything she said, as I referred to before, everything she did was, was pretty amazing. She did both women were super pumped at the end. And I love seeing that both women were done at the end. If you, if you look at the, if you just turned on the last five seconds of their grip call you would be like, wow, they are gassed. Like their gas tank was empty. And I just love seeing that the amount of effort that these women are putting into this, um, closest one thus far, I have to go with, with Addy. And, and it's just by a little bit, but, um, really for me, it was just like when, when, when I look at the movement, Addie's just movement, it's just so much more, not so much more, it's more fluid. A lot of her, just like her, her body positionings, everything just looks super smooth, but, um, very close matchup. Well, it sounds like both of you are in agreement that you preferred Addie Herman's run. And honestly, I can't say I blame you, but the audience might not agree if they preferred Maddie Howard's run, they should vote for Maddie Howard. But if they agreed with you two, then Addie Herman is who they should vote for because that is the beauty of this competition. The power is yours. And yours alone, but boy, I'm kind of surprised they both sent Addie. I thought for sure at least one of them would say Maddie because Maddie had a fantastic gauntlet, which is not to discount Addie at all. It was also excellent, and I suspect that this vote is going to be razor thin. So make sure you make your voice heard the link to vote is in the description on our community page. Make your voice heard. You have three days from the posting of this video, so please go vote. Go do your civic duty. And even though this is a tough one, we still have three more tough matchups left in the semifinals, and we hope you'll join us next week for another semifinal matchup. Until then, for Will Marchese, I'm Alex Cunningham. We will see you next time on the NFL Pro Tour.